نحمده و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدری و یسر لي امری و احل لغدت امی لسانی یفقه قولی آمین یا رب العالمین رب یسر و لا تعصر و تمم بالخیر آمین یا رب العالمین الحمدللہ yes you guys have memorized these charts الحمدللہ you guys are super duper awesome so الحمدللہ what I'm going to do today is actually going to make you guys learn something new okay but before i do that i really want i really want to make sure that you guys know what are we looking at when we are talking about muslim chart what is the thing that keeps on changing there is only one thing right so who is going to type in the chat box and tell me very good job nabira very well done bilal ishal very good job hadia Zara, very well done. Fatima, very good job. Exactly. My dear kids, Barira, Zofin, very good, good job. Hafsa. Yes, the ending keeps on changing. Yeah. Okay. So um, before I ask you guys about the ending of these words, which are written behind these blocks, tell me which, how many properties? Okay. So how many properties? If you look at these uh, two charts here, how many properties of Islam you can tell me by knowing these charts? Very good job. There you go. You guys are super duper awesome. Very well done. Exactly. You are going to tell me about the first one. Which is the first property? Tell me the first one. First property. First property. First property. Masculine versus feminine. Yeah. Masculine versus feminine. I'm talking about properties right now. Don't give me the status. You guys are giving me the status. So I'm asking you, listen to the question very carefully. I'm seeing you are give, giving me in the chat box answers are rough. No, I'm asking you what are the properties. So you're going to tell me I'm, I can figure out uh, gender by looking at these charts or by knowing these charts. Second property. Give me what is the second one. Second property. Number. Very good job, Mariam. Very well done. Exactly. Very good job. Fatima, Varira, very well done. Number. You can tell me the number of the ism, right? And what is the third property? Third property that we are going to talk about today. That was, this is what is called status. Yeah, status. I would say among all three, some I'm for me, numbers were a little tricky. Status used to be easy. Yeah. How many statuses are there, by the way? Do any, any of you guys remember? Very well done. There were there are three statuses. You can see here too, there is rough R. What is the second one? What is the second type of status? Nas, very good job. And how about this one? The yellow one. Jar, very well done. Good job. And now you have already told me these, num the words, the ism, written. these are all the isms, right? These Legos, they have all the isms written because this is a Muslim chart. Yeah, Muslim chart. Only ism have these property. Harf, harf does not have these properties. Fail does not have these properties. So if I ask you, because I'm going to ask you, because I love to trick you guys, right? So I will ask you this word. This is the word and how many properties? And maybe that word is actually harf. Yeah. And when you'll give me good, like wrong answer, I'll be very happy. Yeah. So please make sure if I'm asking you the properties of a word, look at the word carefully. Make sure that word is ism because this chart is Muslim, chart is ism chart. Okay, so we really need to make sure when we talk about properties, which type kind of word do we talk about? Type in the chat box. Type in the chat box. What kind of word do we talk about? Exactly. Very good job. We talk about ism. Ism has all these properties, not the fail or the herf. Okay, just keep this in mind. This is very important because sometimes we, when we start learning, we learn so much that actually the, the main thing, the basic thing skips our mind. Yeah. So make sure all these properties that we have been talking about belong to ism. Okay. Not the herf, not the fe. Okay. So let's inshallah talk about, let me see what do I have here. Status. What is, how do you define status? Give me just one or few words. What is the status? Status is, status is the role. Very good job, Hadia. Very well done. It's a role of an ism. It's a job of ism, what the ism is doing in the sentence. 
Yeah, exactly, Fatima. Very well done. Good job. The role of a ism in the sentence. Yeah, or rank exactly. Yeah, Musa, exactly. This is a role. And if I um, remember, I told you, you know, you guys are super awesome and you guys are actually learning Quran. So you can also say role that ism is playing in an ayah. Okay. This is the role which ism is playing in a particular ayah. Okay. Very good job. Okay. So yes, that is very easy. We already reviewed this one. So just for the, uh, the like you just for the sake of reviewing it one more time. How many statuses are there? Four, three, or two? There are three statuses. We just talked about that one. The names of three statuses are, give me the names. Give me the first letter. How about that? R, N, and J. Very good job. Raf, Nasp, and Jal. Super duper good job. Very well done. Okay, let's go to the next slide and see what do we have here. Word. That is singular. Okay. Singular. Okay, so singular, singular. Singular and rough in status has ending fat, bumma, or kasra. Which ending? You are talking about a singularism which is rough in status. Bumma, D, very well done. Good job. So proud of you. Status of word Muslimatun is Muslimatun, tun, tun, bumma, bumma ending. Just like Muslimun, Muslimatun. This is Rough in status. Very good job. Status. It is a tricky one. So be very careful. Okay. Be very careful. Status of word. Muslimina is. So you are looking at the word. There are two words. Letters here. Ya. Noon. So now you are going to tell me. What is the status? Very good job. Nasb or jar. Barakallah fikum. Very good job. You guys remember everything. Good job. Nasb or jar. Yeah. And inshallah today, I'll try to tell you how can you figure out whether this is a nasb or jar. Okay. Inshallah, we'll, we'll try to learn that today. Okay. Status of word Muslima Tani Ani is. Status of word Muslima Tani is. Very well done. This is a rough in status. Ani, Aini. I want you to say these words louder. Ani, Aini, Aini. Any single time you look at any word, you really need to act like a very professional Arabic student, okay? Meaning, you need to say that word louder, okay? And you need to look at the ending and figure out if there is any combination or not. Yeah, exactly. Nafisa, very well done. Good job, very good job. Okay, let's look at you are. Yeah, exactly. You guys are super awesome. And now you guys are going to keep answering my questions, okay? Do not get distracted. Okay, let's look at this one. Word that is singular and jar in status ends with. Word that is singular and jar in status ends with. Fatha, Dhamma, Kasra. What do you guys think? K, 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 K. Right? Very well done. K, K, K. Good job. Very good job. The haraka at the end of singular ism denotes its role in the sentence. True or false? True. True. Very good job. Okay. So let us let us talk about these ones. I think you guys remember it, but um, I'm just, let me just review it one more time. And then, um, so what are we going to talk about is this one. So let's look at this one. You already saw these slides. Today, I really want you guys to make some notes. Can you do that? Make the notes. Make notes today. Okay. So you are going to write down in your notebook, status, three types. Just write number three types. Rough is called doer. Yeah. Nas is called detail. So R is equal to doer. Yeah. You can do that. And then Nas is equal to detail. Yeah. And Jal is equal to after off. Yeah, and Aya and Hadia, I really don't want you guys to communicate with each other. Yeah, we are in class right now. Remember? Okay. So, rough is equal to doer. Nas is the detail. Yeah. And jar is the word which comes after off. After off. Yeah. Good job. Very good job. Okay. More, very, very, very important thing. Default status is rough. 
if you have you are done no actually if you have not noted these things down type 5 type 5 if you are working on these three types rough is equal to doer nasp is equal to detail jar is the comes after off and default status is rough okay Okay, let's keep going then, inshallah. What is, okay, like we just talked about it and I want you to pay attention to the last line this time. Is changes, changes, what is that? What am I saying? Changes, it's ending to denote its role in the sentence. You already know this thing, meaning you are going to look at the end of the word and that is going to tell you the rule, meaning the status. Yeah, we are all good with that. If you guys got it, type 4. You already know this thing. This fact, you already know. that You need to look at the ending of the word to tell the status. Barakallah fikum. Very well done. Good job. Okay, let's look at the next slide. What do I have next? Exactly. You guys are so awesome that you guys already have done this slide. And you guys have already seen the slide multiple times. And you guys are looking and you guys know that you are are able to tell the status by looking at the ending. So let's keep going. We already talked about this one. So you, we are all good with that. Okay. So before we talk about rough, nasp, and jar, we were talking about types of sentences. How many kinds of sentences did we talk about? Anyone remembers? How many kinds? Good job. Very well done. Good job. Two. Fatima, my dear, two. Two kinds of sentences. One of them has an action in it. But one of them do not have any action. Meaning no actual action. Got it? Okay, good. So when you have a verb, meaning action in a sentence, it, ha it is called verbal sentences. Okay, verbal sentences. And when you don't have the action, then those sentences are called nominal, nominal, or, or you can say noun sentences. Nominal is an actual word, meaning nominal. They do not have any particular action. Okay, let's go back. When we talk about verbal sentences, remember, I asked you guys to keep in mind that these three pieces of puzzle. What is the first thing that we need to figure out? Can you type in the chat box? Exactly. You need to ask yourself, what is an action? Give me the action. Throw the action to me. What is an action? I am interested in knowing about action. Tell me what is action. Yeah. And then what is the second question you're going to ask? Who's going to remind me? Who is doing the action? Who is the doer? Doer. Doer is somebody who's doing an action. Very easy. And then the give me more. And that is what is called the detail of that action. Okay. So there are three, three things that you need to look when you are looking at verbal sentences. Okay. Action, doer and detail. Here is a tricky statement. Yes or no. Listen carefully. Do not type. Listen, listen carefully. Verb always has a detail. Yes or no. Verb, any verb, any action always has a detail. No, very good job. Very well done. Okay, another another statement, another statement. I think I can trick you with this one, maybe. Verb, any action, or you can say any action, always has a doer. Yes or no? Yes or no? Hadia, stay in the zone. Answer the questions. Stay in the zone, answer the questions, my dear. Good job. Always there is a doer, but you may not need detail all the time. Meaning, if you are saying kitten is playing, oh, that is a full sentence. You may not need what is the kitten playing with. Yes, by knowing the detail, you'll feel good. Yeah, you'll feel better that you know the detail, but it, <laughs> you can never or ever trick us. <laughs> Seems like I can trick you guys. Let 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 it let me ask you further questions. Okay, <laughs> so proud of you. Exactly. So always the verb or action as a uh, doer. 
it may not need a detail. Okay. So yes, we are going to keep going and see what is next. Look at these sentences. Because I think this is, yeah, I didn't, I forgot to change the, um, like the words here. Um, yes. Yeah, so, but I think knowing these things is, is going to be super helpful. So let's look at these sentences. Allah is greatest. Allah is greatest. You do not see any action here, meaning the actual action, meaning Allah is giving us food. This is one word, it's like one type of a sentence. Here in these sentences, see very carefully. Allah is greatest. Yeah. Hamza is a good boy. Morning is bright and masjid is beautiful. Do you remember in these kind of sentences, there are how many parts? Give me the parts. One is the naming part. No, Moid, you are here. You are going to create the same thing, Moid. Moid, this is the 17th session, my dear. So I think we should have learned by now that we are going to maybe answer once or twice. It doesn't feel good and should not. you should not be feeling good either that you keep on doing the same thing. Hmm. So let's look at this one. because And you are giving the wrong answers. That is very strange. You are looking at the picture. There's a picture because you just are so fidgety. You have like, like it's, you're not able to control yourself. Maybe you're looking, there are two parts and you are still saying in the chat box, there are three. We are talking about nominal sentences. Yeah. In nominal sentences, how many parts do we have? Who's going to remind me? Good job. Very good job. Exactly. So naming part, do you guys remember what is meant by the naming part? Naming part is the main idea. Main idea. You can say it's called the subject. Okay. It's a subject. What is a subject about? Okay. What is a subject about? And then comes my telling part. It's just like a sort of a detail part. Okay. Which is also called the predicate. So the subject and predicate. You need to keep the, this figure in your mind. Naming part and then comes your telling part. Okay. So remind yourself which property of ism we are talking about. Remind me. Which property of ism we are talking about right now? Status. Good job. Very good job. So now we need to ask ourselves, the, what are these things doing? What am I, why I, do I need to learn the sentences? So let's look at this one. And this is a very important slide. Look at this one. I, I, in the first block, in the first column, you have action. Yeah. Second, doer. And which status is written with the doer? Give me the status. Remember, when we talked about rough, we said this is a doer. Rough is a doer. Okay. Rough is a doer. Okay. And what is the detail? Who remembers? What is the detail? It's called nasp. Detail. Exactly. Barakala fikum. This is the end. You can say only N, okay? That's just to keep the typing short, N. Very good job. So here, uh, let me ask you guys here. Um, I wake up early in the morning. Give me the detail. Uh, in the second sentence, give me the detail. I wake up early in the morning. What is the detail here? Early in the morning. Exactly. Early in the morning. The whole thing is a detail. Once you find an action and the doer, Whatever is in the sentence is going to be the detail. Got it? Whatever is going to be in the sentence is the detail. Okay? Meaning, my doer in a verbal sentence is blank in status. Give me the blank. What comes in this blank or blank? What comes in here? My doer is rough in status. Very good job. Very good job, Ahmed. Very well done. It's rough in status. Good job. And the detail is nafs in status. Very well done. Good job, Musa. Very well done. Okay, let me show you this one now. So, when you talk about nominal sentences, nominal sentences, both your subject naming part and the predicate, which status? What do you guys think? Type in the chat box. Which status? Both these isms. Both these isms are rough in status okay rough in status very good job and who is going to remind me what is a default status 
Mm, can I trick you guys? What is the default status? Rough. Very well done. So I need to have a reason for the ism to be null spot jar. But my default status is rough. All the isms, they have to be rough. Uh, but there is a reason. What can be that reason? Either they are the detail or they are coming after off. Okay? <laughs> Never tricky. Okay, let's keep going and let me see. Maybe I can do uh, the tricking with this one. Yeah, let's see. Very, very, very easy. So when you talk about the rough status, there are three things you need, three times. What are those? Number one. Look at this one. Number one. Number one. Subject in a verbal sentence. Or this is also called the doer. Easy. Fatima is eating chocolate. So you can see here, Fatima is highlighted. She is going to be rough in status because she is the doer. Okay, she is going to be rough in status because she is the doer. Right? Okay, let's look at this one. Number two, the second time, second reason when you will see the rough status. Subject in a nominal sentence. Allah is greater. Greatest, you can say. Allah is greatest. Easy? Meaning the doer in a verbal sentence is rough. And for your nominal sentence, both. Look at this one. Subject and predicate. In a nominal sentence, both are rough. So now you are going to type in the chat box. Type in the chat box. So subject or the doer. This is also called the doer. In a verbal sentences, which status? Are rough in status. Yeah. And when we were talking about Allah is greatest. Adia, look at this one. Sorry. Look at this one. Uh, this, this part here, my dear. That is a very good question. Hadiya, look at this one. Predicate. Remember I told you Allah is greatest. Greatest is the detail. Right? So this is the, you can say that this is the telling part. What about Allah? So if I give you a sentence, Allah is, hmm, you know one thing that my naming part, my main topic is Allah. Then you're going to ask me, okay, teacher Faiza, what about Allah? Then I will tell you he's greatest. This is my telling part. Okay. So subject is my main idea. And what you tell about that subject, meaning what detail you give about the subject is called your predicate. Subject and predicate. Okay. So just look at this one. Masjid is beautiful. Hadiya, now you are going to type. Hadiya Vakas. Hadiya uh, Vakas. Look at this one. Masjid is beautiful. Masjid is beautiful. So all the friends can help uh, Hadiya now. Hadiya, yes. Masjid is a name. Yeah. Uh, is it a naming part? Yes, exactly, Hadiya. What about Masjid, Hadiya? Give me the telling part. What is the telling part? Exactly. There you go. Telling part is called predicate. And like fancy English, it's called the predicate. Got it? I hope you got it. Okay. Everyone is going to type three. If you got it, type three. Type three, type three, type three. Very, uh, very good job. Barakallah fikum. You just need to have the pictures in your mind. And if you do not get it, then you please ask. Okay. But you need to pay attention. Should not be coming late and then keep on asking. Oh my God, I got late or I'm getting bored. What is going on? Should not be doing that. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. So there are three times I told you the rough status. Who is going to tell me? And that do you remember in the verbal sentences, anything which was rough? Give me that thing. In our verbal sentences, there was something rough in status. There was something rough in status in verbal sentences. Meaning kitten is playing. In this sentence, there was something rough in status. Doer. Subject or the doer. Exactly. Subject is a, exactly same thing. So subject, my doer is rough in status. Okay, let's talk about the other kind of sentences. In the nominal sentence, in a noun sentence, any of you guys remember which part is rough in status? Subject. Good job. Everything is rough. Exactly. Exactly. Everything is rough in status. Okay. Everything is rough in status. 
Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Muhammad Kadir is saying, my brother is asking a question, but why are you not answering? What is the question? Let me go back. Okay, you can send your question. Moid, you can send your question to Sister Saima. Okay, send question to Sister Saima, inshallah, okay? Hamza is a subject. Hamza, very good job. Hamza is a good boy. You don't know the subject. Very good. You guys are super duper awesome. Very good job. Very well done. Okay, yes. So there are three time. There are three times when you see rough status. You guys already know. One is in the verbal sentence. My doer is rough. In a nominal sentence, both my subject and predicate are rough in status. Everyone good with this? Type seven. Type seven if you got it. Barakalafikum, very well done. Good job. Now Moed is saying that you are good. Okay, Moed, very good job. Okay, so seven. Okay, let's keep going, inshallah. Okay, so are we going to keep reminding ourselves what is the default status? Type in the chat box. Type in the chat box. What is my default status? Very good job. Meaning, I need to have a reason. Yeah, to have, you can say, nas but jar status, but my default status is rough. Okay, let's keep going. Easy. This uh, next one is very easy. Super duper easy. Very, very, very easy. Super duper easy. Look at this one. Nasp. N detail is always nasp. Detail is always nasp. Now, uh, Salar or Moid, do you, were you guys listening when I was telling Hadia? What is a predicate? The same question. This is the third time. The question is the same. I have answered this question twice now. So, Inshallah, now you're going to go back and you're going to look and listen to the recording. Okay, Inshallah. Yes. So, very good job, Musa. Very well done. Barira, very well done. Good job. Nasp is only the detail. Okay, let's look at the examples and you are going to tell me what is the detail. Grammar kids are doing an amazing job. Which part of the sentence is nasp in status? Give me that part. Give me that part. Which part? Amazing job. Exactly. Very good job. Very well done. Very good job. By the way, what is the first thing that you are going to notice in a sentence which have an action? First thing. Which is the first thing? Which one is the first thing? No, not the subject. Not the subject. Mm -mm, I, I was able to trick you guys. <laughs> not the action. Very good job. Action. Don't forget the, like, you know, the, the common things or the basic thing. Always, when you are looking at the sentence, sentence has an action, give me the action. This monster is asking you about the action, give me the action. So you are going to give me the action then, yeah? And what is the second thing that you want to give, you can give me? After action, doer, give me the doer. Don't give me the detail. De I don't want detail, I want doer. Very well done, doer. And then comes my detail, okay? Let's look at this one. Kitten is playing with a ball. Kitten is playing with a ball. Give me the detail. What is the detail in this sentence? Easy. Ball, exactly. Very good job. Very well done. Good job. Then, then now comes the very tricky part. I think it's going to be a little hard for you all. But, I, but at the same time, you guys are super awesome. Yeah? And what we have discussed so far, rough status, very easy. Need to remember types of sentences. You all know it. My doer is rough. My subject is rough and my predicate is rough. When you come to uh, NASP, you all are aware. NASP is a detail. Now comes the tricky part, which is a JAR. Okay? So JAR is the any ism can be JAR. Ishal, inshallah, by today, you will have this. The PDF is available in our uh, Google Drive. So you are going to ask your mom to show you the PDF. Then you are going to copy the PDF in your notebook and make your notes very beautifully. And then you are going to send me the picture of your notes. Inshallah, you can do the, that by Friday or Saturday, meaning all week long you can make notes by looking at the PDF that I'll be sharing, okay? Inshallah. Let's look at this one. So Jar. Jar. What is a Jar? Typically the word after off is a jar. Okay? The word after off is a jar. Meaning, after off, look at this one, book of Allah. Sunnah 
of the profit. What do you guys think? If I give you the profit, I've asked you to put haraka on the profit. Like if it is written in Arabic, which haraka would you give to profit? Peace be upon him. Which haraka do you think you will give? Dhamma, Fatha or Kasra? Dhamma, Fatha or Kasra? This is coming after all. No, Ahmad, Fatha? Is a detail, Ahmad? Is, is it a detail? Prophet is a detail? No. Sunnah of the Prophet. Is it a doer? Now, this is a tricky one. You guys are not listening carefully. This word is coming after the word of. After the word of. Now, tell me, should this be a doer? No, exactly. This cannot have Dhamma. This can this word cannot have Dhamma because this word is coming after word of book of Allah. Of Allah. Look at where, which word is coming. Is book coming or uh, the uh, Lafzul Jalala is coming? Or Ismul Jalala. You can see here. Okay, so um Moid we are or Salah. We are not in sentences. This is not a sentence. Yeah. You are not looking at a sentence. Right now, focus what I'm telling you. I am telling you the word that comes after word of will take kasra. It is a jar. Okay? It is a jar. This is not a doer. Exactly. Hadiya, very good job. This is not a doer. What is lafzul jalala? Very good question, Ahmed. So look at this word. When you look at the word Allah, it's feels little disrespectful saying Allah is having judge status. Uh, that doesn't feel good. It's not an ordinary ism. It is the best of the best of the best entity. Yeah. So, so this is what is called lafs or ismul jalala means jalal means grandeur. Yeah. The one with all the power. Meaning when we say ismul jalala that means the word or the ism that has all the power. The, 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 the best one more the more superior one you can say okay okay now we are going to talk we are going to fight for that Moid or Salar Allah isn't an entity now, okay now we are going to discuss that is that the topic no that is not the topic focus right now you are focusing on the word that comes after of is the Jar it takes Kasra and I will show you the examples and then you are going to say oh subhanallah that is so awesome Okay, let's look at this one. Also, this is this is an important one. After prepositions, there is some spelling mistake here. Prepo, preposition? Okay, I'll fix this one, inshallah. After prepositions, meaning for, to, from, with, you see the word after preposition taking kasra, meaning that word is also jar. How many conditions for the word to be jar? I'm going to hide this slide. How many conditions for the word to be jar? That you know for now. Exactly. Very good job. Two. Two. What is the first one? Tell me, what is the first one? First one is after off. Very well done. Which one is the second one? Preposition is with... This, these words, when we say with, to, from, upon, these are what is called preposition. Okay, very good job. Meaning, how many, I am going to trick you, trick you. What, which status is the default status? Give me the default status. Rough, very good job. How many times you will see rough status in, in any, like if you are looking, going over an ayah, how many times would you see rough status how many times do you guys remember oh i can trick you three three times three times which is the first time give me the first time the first one it's a doer in a verbal sentence yeah doer doer now you're going uh, uh i'm waiting for your answers now okay doer second one if i have a noun sentences nominal sentence both my subject and predicate is rough. Yeah? Then comes my nusp status. Only one condition. Nusp is always blank. 
NASP is always detail. Very good job, Nafisa. Very good job, Nabira. Very good job. So NASP is always detail, Ahmed. Very good job. Ahmed Salman, very well done. Hafsa, good job. So NASP is always detail. When I come to JAR, that, is, that seems a little tricky. JAR. What are the conditions for the word to be JAR? Only two. Only two conditions. What is the first one? Word coming after of. Good job. And after preposition. Very well done. Let's go over some examples and try to see whether we got it or not. Or we need to review it. Or inshallah, we'll review this material again tomorrow. Because this is a hard one. Yeah, when we try to teach this to um, the students who are maybe like 30, 40, they get very scared. I think you guys are super awesome. Yeah, they, you guys are amazing. I'm really surprised how you guys are getting it. Alhamdulillah, this is amazing. Okay, so again, we are going to remind ourselves, typically the word after of, and also the words after preposition. And inshallah, I will be sharing these slides. So don't worry about making notes at this point, okay? Right now, you can wait. Okay, let's look at this one. Sometimes, tips, look at the tip. Sometimes, you have to rearrange the words hmm. see, to see the word off. Yeah, to see the word off. Hadia, do not, do not answer. Is it, are you supposed to be answering, Hadia? Please. Okay, Let's look, look at this example. My tooth, my tooth. Do you actually, I'm sure you guys know it. This is called, this, is, this can be rearranged and this is actually, the tooth of mine. Tooth of mine. Now tell me, when I ask you, my tooth, tell me, do you guys see any word, either this one or tooth, being a jar status? Any word among these two is jar in status? What do you guys think? Jar, exactly, my is jar. It's like a mind, tooth of mind. Exactly, exactly. Look at this one. Allah's house is actually house of, of Allah. So what do you guys think? Which haraka are you going to give to Lafzul Jalala? Are you going to give Dhamma, Fatha or Kasra to Lafzul Jalala? What do you guys think? Kasra, very good job, Ahmed. Very well done. And with, um, I also know the time, my dear. So you need to be uh, punctual about your timing, inshallah. You don't need to remind us, okay? <laughs> You're funny. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going here. Okay. Do you see? Okay, so I am going to trick you guys. Do you see any ism in jar status in these examples? So let's look at this one. No, you should not be sending emojis and um, not good. With the name of Allah. With the name of Allah. Tell me the, the words in this sentence which are going to have judge status. Good job. Very well done. Any other word? It's a tricky one. Zofin. Pay a... Uh, Focus. I think you can you can figure that out. Very good job. Very well done. Moid. Very well done. Good job. With, with, with. Huh. This is a preposition. With the name. Whoa. This is name is going to be jar of Allah. So in these sent this particular one, the first sentence, how many isms are going to take jar status? How many isms are going to take judge status? And I have only two. Only two, yeah? You can say the word, the name, the first one, and the lafzul jalala is going to take uh, judge. Good job. Okay, let's look at this one. Hmm. This should be all praise is for Allah. Give me the judge status. Which word is going to get the judge? What do you guys think? Here, see. There's a for here. Yeah. Preposition is coming here. So, Barakallah Fikum. Very good job. So, you can see after preposition, you see 
the word is getting a jar status. Yeah. And if the word is coming after off, you see a jar status. Okay. So inshallah, I am going to stop here. I will resume session tomorrow with the same concept. And we will be going over the examples. And inshallah, you will be super smart and super good at it. Inshallah. Okay, with that, inshallah, I am going to end our session. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashudu la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu alaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My very dear kids.